this is Adam from Maxoon, and today let's talk about system updates for Sony View M7 and M7 Pro. There are two things to keep in mind before ever updating a Sony View M7 and M7 Pro. First, always back up your data before updating firmware or system, and second, copy the update file to internal storage before performing update. Now, let's dive right into it. First, you will need to download the system update package from our download center and to axum.com, click support, download center, and the new firmware update will be here once it's released. Next, copy it to a SD card or USB drive. Remember, the USB connection for Cineview M7 series only support USB Type-C, and it needs to be connected to this data connection port on the side here. Copy the firmware update package to the USB drive or SD card, and copy the package file again to internal storage. Please note that you will need to copy the update.zip file to the root directory of Cineview M7's internal storage. Now, when you enter Cineview M7's Axon C app, you will find a prompt asking if you'd like to update now. Please, before backing up your data, let's first ignore it and cancel. Tap on the top status bar and find the backup slash recover option. Tap on backup and you should find the external storage you've connected. Backup function will store crucial data to external storage. It includes factory calibration file, user calibration LUT, your custom look LUT and CDLs, and the settings memory. Make sure you always keep a copy of the factory calibration LUT, as it's unique for each display unit. After the data backup, it's time to take care of the actual update. First, safely remove the external storage, and then unplug it. Just in case the system is updating using the update.zip file from the external drive. Then, re-enter the XMC app and continue to proceed to update. This time, we press confirm and wait for the system to perform update itself. After the reboot, it's already successfully updated. If everything works out fine, the update should retain your current calibration and look LUT along with the settings memory. But if somehow Cineview M7 performed the rewipe update, removing all your previous files, you just need to plug in your external drive and then go back to backup slash restore option and tap to recover your previous backup files. And don't forget to delete the update.zip file once everything's finished. This way you'll get no more prompts asking if you'd like to update anymore. And that's all for this in-depth firmware update tutorial. Remember, better safe than sorry. Always keep your files backed up in case somehow it's gone. And always copy the file to internal storage in case the system got bricked by an unwanted USB drive disconnection halfway during the update process. Thank you for watching. Hope this video helps you avoid potential troubles and provide guide for your update process. See you next time.